What is Trainual? Think documentation, knowledge, training wrapped into one tool. Let me show you how it works. So our first goal with any of our clients using Trainual is to first assist in capturing and centralizing all business knowledge. And that's all gonna be done here within our content page. We've established our own standardized formatting and documentation within Trainual called the subject. So this is a list of subjects that have been documented here within this Trainual account. You can see they range from processes, policies, general company information. We're looking to capture all business knowledge into this one central area. The way that these subjects are structured is three different levels. We have the subject level right here, welcome to the company. If we click this drop down, this is gonna present us with what we call topics within the subject. Think of these as the different chapters that we're gonna be covering within the specific material. And then within each topic, we have what we call our steps or pages of these subjects. And you'll see here that within that topic level line, you can also create quizzes and flow charts, but we'll get to that shortly. When it comes to creating subjects, there's two main ways to create content in Trainual. First, utilizing our templates. We've worked to create a robust template library of just under 500 templates to assist you in capturing business knowledge, anything from your general company information, policies, processes. As you can see here, just under 500 of those templates are presented, ranging from welcome to the company, new employee onboarding process, even intro to tools you use like Slack. Our goal with these templates are they're giving you a head start in your documentation journey within Trainual. We've also created our own tools to help you assisting in capturing this information from scratch. All we need to do is hit create subject. We wanted to create something like, you know, how we onboard clients within the business. It's gonna be our client onboarding process. I'm gonna go ahead and create process here and hit create subject. This is where our tools will start to come into play. The first tool being Smart Outline. Smart Outline is gonna assist you in creating the map, the structure of the process you're about to document. All we need to do is hit Smart Outline. What's happening is we are taking the title of the subject that you typed in here using AI to suggest topics and steps that we can go ahead and add to this material. So as we come in here and we review the topics with their correlating steps, I can go ahead and immediately add this to my subject to begin to build out the outline and the framework for this material. Our goal is that you're never starting from scratch when documenting and trainable. You're utilizing the tools that we've created to expedite the process it takes to get this information documented and organized within the platform. So you see here, now I've added these suggested topics to my outline. Now I have something to work with. I have a framework that I can start from. Once I'm ready to start documenting, all I need to do is click into this first topic. This is gonna take us to the subject editing modal. This is gonna highlight our tools that we've established for you. So this text box, this is where you're gonna document all that information. You can copy and paste that text in here, start to type out information within this text box. Use any of these formatting tools to format those text and paragraphs styles. And then this insert tab opens up a slew of additional tools that we've created, starting with Compose. Compose allows you to write out bullet points to what you want to convey. Hit Compose will generate that content for you into more contextual format. Utilize smart tools by highlighting any text that you've already created and edit that text, making it shorter, longer, changing the tone, maybe just summarizing what we've typed in here. We've also created an exceptional way to record processes through video. Using this integration with Loom Recording, record your screen, record your trainings, record videos of yourself, and automatically in the bed them into your trainual material here. In addition to that, you already have existing materials. Just embed them through this quick embed tool, whether it's videos, maps, slides, docs. We support over 200 media types when it comes to inserting this material into your trainual content. You can also upload your own video, embed images, add images, use our stock photo library to create some engaging content for your team, embed external links, and upload files. These are going to be the main tools that we've created to assist in getting these processes documented and organized organized quickly. Let me show you what that finished product looks like. So if I come out here to the content page and let's go ahead and go to our account handoff process. So not only can we assist you in documenting and capturing those texts and those recorded videos, but also enabling you to create process maps, flow charts. If you have procedures, processes that maybe include multiple steps, multiple teams, we can represent that here. Think Miraboard Canva, but here in Trainual. We can also assist you in 
uploading your own training videos. So if you don't have them hosted in YouTube, Vimeo, or Loom, just upload to the Trainual. They're viewable immediately within Trainual, and you can require your team to watch this entire video before clicking through. But of course, to assist in holding your team accountable to knowing the information that you're conveying to them, we have those knowledge checks here. You can build out your knowledge checks, add your own questions with video, photo, text, links, select the way that your team responds, or maybe just expedite the process and use our AI tool and auto-generate this test by selecting the content you want to test on, hitting auto-generate. We'll go ahead and build out that test that you can go ahead and edit and then assign to your team. And that's going to be how we assist you in capturing processes, whether it's templates or the tools that we've created. And as you start to build out this material and train you all, we want to guide you through organizing this information high level between company policies and processes. Reason behind this is this follows a typical training flow that one may have at the business, because more times than not, when someone starts the company, you're going to teach them about who you are. What is your founding story, your mission, your vision, your culture, your values, any of that orientation information, giving someone a foundation of knowledge within the business. That's what you're going to document here. And next policies, rules, guidelines of the business, anything from discrimination, harassment, code of conduct, working hours in PTO, with the ability to gather electronic signatures on any of the subjects here in Trainual. And then lastly, your processes. So within Trainual, think of what you've documented between the company and policy tabs. That's like your general needs to knows of everybody or what we would consider that employee handbook material. But once we get to processes, this is where we're getting more specific with a location, department, a team, a roles information. So to assist you in organizing this information in the best way possible, you can go ahead and sort and filter this knowledge out by those different groups, whether it's your locations, departments, or even roles. So if we say, let's go ahead and sort this information out by role, I can see every role that's been documented within the account and within each drop down the training material of the content specific to that group of people. But just keep in mind, your team is only going to see the content that they have access to, that they have been assigned. So they're going to see a very streamlined view of the knowledge of the business. They're not going to be over inundated with all this other information that doesn't relate to their role. And that's going to be how we're assisting in organizing this material, high level company policies, processes, and then in the detail, teams, locations, departments, and roles. But where are you going to establish these groups? That's going to be in our groups function. This is how we're assisting you in grouping your people with the responsibilities they hold within their roles and the knowledge that they need to execute those responsibilities. You can build out your groups from roles, teams, departments, locations, any other way that you group your people in the business. And the way that these are structured is if we go into this role tab and I click into this account management team, we can see a description of what this group of people is. What are they responsible for? Their core responsibilities with the ability to link correlating content to each responsibility. So I know if this is what I'm responsible for, this is the information that I need to execute that responsibility. And then of course, the training material, the knowledge specific to this group of people. So that when we're adding new team members to your trainual account, all you need to do is assign them to their respective groups. And on day one, they're assigned not only their responsibilities, but also the training material material that they need to execute those responsibilities. There may be times when you're looking at adding a new system to your tech stack and you may think, man, it may be a little too much for our employees or you get nervous that your team may be overwhelmed with all the different systems and tools that they need to succeed within their roles. We have a solution for that. And that's our software and tools page. This is meant to give visibility and centralize every system and tool that your team uses, ensuring that they know who owns that tool what teams and departments or roles use that tool, and any of the training material or processes needed to succeed with that specific system. And now you're starting to see how we help you establish a foundation of knowledge, organization, and accountability for your team to continue to build and succeed off of. Groups is not only the way that we help you connect and organize your content on the content page, but also the way that you're going to assign responsibilities to your team members so that when somebody gets started at the business, you're not only automating the way that you assign their training material, but also giving them visibility immediately into what they're responsible for. When they log into Trainual, they're going to get taken to their homepage. This to-do tab is going to populate with those subjects that you've assigned them so that all they need to do to start training and consuming this knowledge is log in and click start. 
Once I click start, this is going to open up the subject for me to review. And you can see here, this looking look a little familiar. This is the subject I previously showed you to show off flowcharts, videos, tests. This is the opposite end. This is how your team is going to consume this information. I'm going to read through this text. Look at the linked processes. Once I've consumed this knowledge in order to move forward, I need to hit that mark completed button. Once I hit mark completed, that's going to progress me through the subject. But you'll see on the left hand side here, now it's tracking my progress. So our goal is that after you assign somebody their training material, their knowledge they need to consume, it's hands off. You're tracking this team member's progress as they work through their assigned material. So as they go through and mark each page complete, you'll notice that I can't click ahead. I actually need to hit this mark completed button in order for me to progress through the subject. But you'll see there, again, the system is tracking my progress. We are ensuring that your team is consuming each and every step that you've documented. And of course, to ensure that the team is understanding that information, those knowledge checks right there are going to help you hold your team accountable to knowing that knowledge they need to succeed. And as your team starts to consume this information within Trainual, the tracking is easy. You just go to your reporting page. Within our people report, you can see every single person within the account, the completion score of the content that they've been assigned, and when they're last active. If needed, we can filter out by different roles, teams, departments, locations, any other way that you group your people to get more specific with this view. And then at the individual level, this is going to show you, okay, for Alex, this is who she reports to, the groups that she's a part of, and more specifically, every subject that she's been assigned with the status of the subjects. If you have anything that requires a signature, you can download that here and view test results. But all in all, this is our way for you to track and hold your team accountable to knowing the information that they need to succeed. When you are adding new team members to the account, all you need to do is add them to their groups. And on day one, they're assigned their responsibilities and the training material that they need to execute those responsibilities. But you can take it a step further. With our feature, Training Paths, you have full control of how your team consumes and experiences your training process. So to show you how that works, let's go ahead and go into Rach's profile. You see here, Training Path, if I go ahead and see Overview, this is how you have full control of how your training material is delivered to your team. So you can see here, the way that these are structured is you can group your training in blocks. So for this example, Rach, she needs to complete these four subjects and not until she completes these subjects will that next block of content be released. You also have the ability to add a training break, add a few days to give that new trainee a breather before they dive into that additional content so that when they log into Trainual, they're going to get taken to their homepage. This to do tab is going to populate with the subjects that they've been assigned so that all I need to do to start my training experience is log in and click start. And that's going to be how you track your team's progress through their training material. Coming back to the homepage though, once your team has completed all the content that they've been assigned, that's when Trainual turns into their knowledge hub, their reference point. So if I have a question on anything within my role or about the business, I'm not going to a manager or a colleague to ask them that question. I'm going to Trainual. I can come in here and I can search. For example, you know, what is our account handoff process here at the company? This is going to be an AI semantic search that searches everything that I've been assigned, populating an answer to my question and showing me where that answer was found. So if I need to dig a little deeper, maybe watch a video on that process. I know exactly where I need to go to. But that's not it. Outside of training, outside of access to knowledge, we also want to show off the people of the business, who does what and how. And that's going to be in your directory, putting a face to the name of everybody within the organization. Each profile slide out showing this person's contact information, the groups that they're a part of, and the responsibilities that correlate with those groups, tying in not only the documentation and organization of your knowledge, but also showing you how each person uses that knowledge within their designated responsibilities. If you have scattered information or across different sources, no easy way for your team to access that knowledge, or you're struggling with having a standardized, streamlined way to train your team, we got you covered.